in today's session of Divorce Court. The courtship of Herman and Monique lasted three and a half years, and when they got married, Monique looked forward to their life together. But now she says Herman is seeing another woman, and he doesn't even try to hide it. Yeah, I'm a grown man. I shouldn't have to live with any secrets. And when she found Herman at another woman's house, she says she couldn't take it anymore. Tell me what did it solve when you fought him, when you went over to the woman's house? What did it solve? Herman says he wanted the marriage to work, but Monique's temper is just too much. When a person stabs you, cuts that. you, they're saying that I don't want to be bothered with you. Stay away unless you have a death wish. Now Monique Jackson and Herman Benjamin square off in today's session of Divorce Court. Court is now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the matter of Monique Jackson versus Herman Benjamin. Mr. Benjamin, Ms. Jackson, what may I do for you today? I'm here today to get $500 for the clothing that Mrs. Uh, Jackson destroyed. When did she destroy them? After we separated. And why did she destroy them? because I guess she was mad. Well, let me ask you, Ms. Jackson, you destroyed his clothes? Y yes. Why I would you do something like them. that? I threw them in the garbage. You threw his clothes in the garbage? Why? Because... It's not garbage? I, I, I told him to come get his clothing, and he never came and got them. And so you couldn't I, think of anything better to do other than throw them in the garbage? I don't... No. Yeah. Why couldn't you just box them up? I, that's what I did. So and how did he they never get in the came... garbage can? I put them there. He never came and got them. Mr. Benjamin, why wouldn't you go get your clothes? She kept telling you to come and get them. No, ma'am, she did not tell me to come and get my clothing. Well, even if she didn't tell you to come and get them, if they were yours, why didn't you go get them? At the same time, ma'am, she was steady uh, trying to get back with me. She wanted me to move back in with her. She was not trying to uh, tell me to come and get the clothing. Oh, that so you not... didn't go get the clothes because you didn't want to see her again, and you thought maybe if you went back over there, she'd... You know, we go through suggest the drama you of fighting to... and things of that nature again. And oh, I you thought you'd go through the problems of fighting? Yes, ma'am. So you fought? Yeah, very much so. Oh, what happened during the marriage of fighting? She's a very violent woman. Not this lady who yes, can hardly talk now. I know she wasn't violent. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Now you have to convince me of that. What did she do? She stabbed me, thrown glasses. You, you stabbed him it. and threw a glass at him, Miss Jackson? I had Why would you to do that? I had to defend myself. Oh, you had to defend yourself? Yes. Well, she said it was in self-defense that no, she threw a glass. No, yes, ma'am. When were you defending yourself that you had to throw a glass and hit him? And what else did you say she did? Stabbed when I me. threw a glass when... at him, uh -huh. it was back in February of Why? this year. He was cheating no, on me. Oh, so you threw a glass because he was cheating no, on you? No, this... That's not defense. No. <laughs> this you were defending we your was... honor, so you threw a glass and hit him. No, we was, we was fighting. And that's when I had picked the glass up and threw it out. It didn't even hit him. It went right past him. Throwing a glass, whether it goes right past him or whether it hits him, is not a proper response. You said you were fighting. Was he hitting you? Yes. She just said that uh, we were fighting this February. I, yeah. I have not been with or around Miss Jackson in quite some time. Since she's been carrying on another relationship, and so have I. What, so what's quite some time? At least six to seven months. We don't we don't communicate. We don't we so don't. So you're saying around. February of this year you weren't anywhere around her? No, ma'am. I was living with my girlfriend, and she was living you know with her boyfriend. Well, maybe that was one of those days she called you over to come get your clothes, and you went by, and you no, ended up in a fight. Mm -hmm. No, ma'am. That didn't happen. No, ma'am. So, Miss Jackson. Not only are you a fighter, according to him, and violent, you don't You're know lying. one day from the next. He said he wasn't with you in February. This will happen. He didn't well, tell... Just tell me one thing. Was he at your house? Or maybe you were on the street? No, I was at... When I came home from work, that's when I went to the home he was at. He was telling me he was not living there. He was telling me he was not messing with her. And when I went over there, he was at the house, we got into it, and that's when it oh, all Oh, so you started. went seeking and searching for him, and that's when you got into the fight. That's I didn't stalking. seek for him. That's what it I... sounds like to me, a seek-and-destroy mission. If he was already gone from you... I didn't you... go... 
I did not go over there to argue with him. I went no, over there. She came over there to fight with me. She, did, she said exactly right. There. She didn't come to argue. She came and to fight. And I didn't come over there to fight. Well, let me ask you a question. If you already knew where he was, and you knew he was with another woman, and he had separated from you, mm -hmm. you already knew this. Yeah. Why did you have to go see for yourself? You said you knew it. I wanted to see. Cause if... No, you wanted to fight. Exactly. I did not want to fight exactly. with him. Well, what did you think Come was going to happen now. when you went over there and saw him with another woman? I didn't go over there to fight with him. When I went over there and found him where he was at, he started... He where started was he? Fighting. With another woman? No, he was in the closet. <laughs> was another woman there? No. <laughs> in the dark, in the closet, <laughs> standing there. So you went into his house and he was in the closet? In the no, closet. No, she didn't come to my house. It was somebody it else's was house. It was her house. Oh, but at the she same time... let me in the house. And you pushed and right I, past her, right? No, exactly. I walked exactly. past. I did not push her. She opened the door, and I stood right by the door. She let me in her home. And I walked through her living room, because I had a feeling that he was in there. So she you kept were looking telling for your me husband. he wasn't there. Well, you weren't playing hide and seek, were you? Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. But there is an explanation. It's an explanation. Childish. For that. Why were you in the closet? He didn't because want me to know. I knew what she was about to come over there and do, and I was trying to avoid all I, that. That's no. why I didn't tell her where I was at in the first no. place. So because how did she know? She was listening to other people, and they told her where I was at, and she came over there on a seek and destroy mission. Other people told her. Yeah, she listens to everything everybody says. That's why we're so where we're at an right now. So it wasn't a spy mission. She didn't spy you out. She listened to no. friends. She listened to what somebody told her, which how she did does you all know the time. Exactly where he was. His friend's girlfriend is. His girlfriend and her, they are their cousins. So the friend's girlfriend's girlfriend's cousin told mm -hmm. you. So you weren't smart enough to smart. keep it a secret. What would I have, why should I have to live a secret? So this was after you had separated. Yeah, I'm a grown man. I shouldn't have to live in it. But if he had secret. left you, Miss Jackson, he was keeping no, it I didn't a leave secret. her. She kicked me out. So no, I didn't leave her. She you kicked, kicked me out. out then you and then I started another relationship. No, I Don't kicked lie, him sweetie. out because he was messing with somebody else. So you then heard lied again. about it. No, so this was way again. before he started messing yeah, with her. Yeah, but this is what you heard this again. Was Hold on, older, Mr. Benjamin. This was an older person he was messing with. Then I put him out, and he moved back in. That's when we was trying to work our marriage out, and it wasn't working. Because... So then you kicked him out again. And I kicked exactly. him out again. So you kicked him out. Why did you go looking for him? I didn't... He came back on his own. Oh, I'm lying. He you went came, back to a woman that, he came that stabbed back you? Trying to listen, work it out, have, and it listen, wasn't working. We have a four-year-old son together. I, so I was doing that. Death son wish. Son you like you missed the time. Let me go back. But at the no. same time, I'm, I was trying to be a man and take care of my child and to be a provider for my wife. But at the same time, I don't have time for these trivial things to keep going on every day. She hears this, that I'm cheating with this person, I'm cheating with that person, over a phone call. If I'm your husband, you're supposed to believe my word. My word is supposed to be mine, not what somebody calls you and tells you in the streets. Because if you listen to what's in the streets, then you might as well stay in the streets, because I don't need that. When Divorce Court returns, Monique and Herman give conflicting testimony about the day she caught him at another woman's home. And you think I'm stupid or something. You go over to another woman's house, you find him in the closet, and you're going to try to make me believe that you just walked in there and say, hi, Herman, how are you? If you would like to have the judge hear your case in divorce court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. Divorce Court is back in the case of Monique Jackson, who says she's divorcing her husband, Herman, after she found him in the arms of another woman. You listen to other people. Did you have any evidence yourself? Yes. None. For one, I seen him with with that person. I was in the car with one of my friends when I seen him. And who did you know the person? Yes, I know the person. And what were they doing just in the car together? Exactly. But at the same were time, they, was that a friend? No. And so what did she do when she found you in the closet? We fought. What no, did you? She fought until me. the police came. She fought me until no, the police came. No, he was came. fighting. He fought me first. Come on, Miss Jackson. You think I'm stupid or something. You go over to another woman's house, you find him in the closet, and you're going to tell me... That I jumped on her. Hold on a second. You're going to try to make me believe that you just walked in there and say, Hi, Mr. Ben... Hi, Herman. How are you? When you saw him in that closet, I know you reached in and grabbed him. I did not touch him. <laughs> I did not touch him. Yeah. He got out the... He came out the closet. He's hiding in the closet, and he came out he to came you so you could out, hit him? And then I, we started arguing, and that's when he started with me first. 
And oh, then Ms. I Jackson. Hit it. We did start an argument, but I didn't See, start with her yes, first. You did. That's when she started he swinging at me. Always no. And no. I went to the next door neighbor's house and came back. How'd you get out? I left. But she's fighting you, so how'd you get out? Because somebody put put us apart. Exactly. So and I thought there wasn't going over on. There and so you all thought you were in the boxing no, ring? No, ma'am. She no. thought she was in the boxing ring. Miss Jackson, don't you know that domestic him. violence is a crime, even if it's done by a woman? Mm -hmm. Did you think you could get away with it because you were female? No. Do you know now how to deal with your anger? Yeah, because I'm not with, I'm not being bothered with him. Okay, anymore. suppose it's somebody else that comes along that makes you angry. How do you deal with your anger? Well, then Same I don't way. need to be with that person. You need to learn how to control your anger. Are you in any anger management classes? Mm-mm. They didn't require that when you were anger. arrested? I, I don't have an anger no. problem. You don't? No. What do you call it? I did not start arguing and fighting with this man until we started going through this. Well, you I don't go looking not, for it. I, I did not go looking for anything. Tell I me just, what did it solve when you stabbed him, when you fought him, when you went over to the woman's house. Did it stop anything? No. Try this lesson. If a man is cheating on you and you think that he is with another woman, you can beat him all you want. If he wants the other woman, he's going there. Mm -hmm. You can't stop him. If he doesn't want you, send him on his way. She sent me on my way twice. That's just it. And I sent you <laughs> on your way it. forever. But you kept going back, so Bare you must have liked it. It wasn't the beating Talk. that I liked. It was the fact that we yeah. have a child together and that I was trying to be a man Please. and stand up and well, take care of Well, now, the lesson to you is when a person stabs you, cuts that. you, they're saying that I don't want to be bothered with you. Stay away unless you have a death wish. I understand yep. that. And even we, for the sake of the children, that doesn't help your children to see that. mama stabbing daddy, daddy hitting mother. That doesn't help them. That says to them, this is the response to violence. We hit yeah. each other. This is what you do when you're angry. You hit and beat on each other. Now, are the two of you apart now? Yes, yeah. ma'am. Forever, I hope. I don't care how much she calls you, don't go back. Oh, I wow. never I don't care what him. your friends tell you, you shouldn't go looking for him. I don't be paying attention to him. Then why do you think you have the right to burn up his clothes or throw him in the garbage can? I told him to come get him. He never came, so out they went. Now, what is he supposed to do about clothing? Well, he got clothes. But now he has to spend more money on clothes, and that's the money he could be spending and on your when, child. When exactly. he cut my exactly. clothes up, but she when he I'll came take over She's and cut my no. clothes up, no. I had to no. buy clothes, too. No, Tit for tat, you cut no, up her clothes? Yeah. No, he didn't buy them, Your Honor. The fact is that they were my shoes. And Who she had you did? It no, ain't the somebody point. else bought them. Oh, that's, that's why you cut them up, because somebody else bought them. She don't know who paid for them shoes. How you gonna buy something? don't have no job. You're saying that some other woman bought those shoes for him. That's why you put them in the garbage can. No. I cut them up. Oh, my. Yeah, $135 pair of shoes, she cut them up. I cut them up. Because somebody else bought them, and you no. were angry. Come on, Miss Jackson. You cut up his shoes because he didn't come and get them. No. You could have sold the shoes. You could have given them the goodwill. If I'm, not if I'm not taking care of my son, you got a $135 pair of shoes that you're just going to cut up. But Why I want to know what about them? cutting up her I clothes. I didn't cut up that girl's clothes. He cut my clothes. She, she talking about a dog on a robe that I paid for in the first place. No. A robe that was only worth $25. And a robe, so was justified. no, no, no. I paid $100 for the robe. Uh, yeah. But at the same time, Cut it up. Uh, I didn't cut it up. And why why am I cut up something that I paid on, for? Jackson. Why am I cut up something that I paid for? So what for? did you do to her robe? I didn't do anything to the robe. Oh, this I is the story that she called the police and told. I didn't do anything to her robe. So was this he after you I threw away his it. clothes or before? No, this was um, way, way before. He cut... So my... it couldn't have been a tip for a tat. So what am I going to cut no. up something? Uh, I paid $100 for that robe. What am I going to cut it up for? He Doesn't cut that sense. up. And, no, and, not yeah. something that I paid for. I don't waste was, my I, money. I don't know about her, but I don't waste my money. Why are you going to cut up a robe? If... He came to my house. Hold on, just tell me when did this occur? Before or after clothes. the separation? I, it robe ain't was clothes. In March. Before in or March. after the separation? Oh, after the separation. What's the total amount of the clothing or the clothing and shoes and other items that she discarded? Five hundred dollars. Well, you know those clothes lose value once you take them out of the store. You know that, don't you? No matter what you paid for, once you take them out of the store, $500 they lose value. is not the total amount of clothing that I had. So you just think that's the reasonable value for everything Th that's that was what left? I, that's just, I feel as if that's a sufficient amount to ask for. What do you think is the reasonable value of the items you discarded? Nothing. Because you, half of the stuff he didn't even 
buy, I bought him. He should be paying me for buying. So that's another all reason you think you had you could get rid of him because you bought him. No. And you didn't want him wearing with that other woman. I didn't care what he did with them clothes. That ain't even the woman that bought the clothes. The one that I was with wasn't even the one that bought the clothes. I, I, so. I've heard she enough. was somebody's mama. Could have been somebody's mama. Shut up. <laughs> So you, you, you don't You're like wild. the fact that he likes older women. Don't... I don't care what he well, likes. You're about don't... to insult me now. Don't talk too much about <laughs> older women. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care what he likes. Be careful with that now. <laughs> I don't care what he likes, Your Honor. All right. I think I'll make a decision. I'll take a break. Court will be at recess. When divorce court returns, the judge renders her verdict. And why are you smiling? What's so funny about what I'm saying? And an update on the case of Manuel Hayden versus Tessie Hayden. I did meet somebody Th that, I, that I was attracted to. Another man or another no, woman? No, it was a woman. It was a woman. Oh. It was uh. a woman. Divorce Court will be back in session in a moment. Divorce Court is back and the verdict is in. In the case of Herman Benjamin, who says his wife Monique's extreme jealousy and constant abuse drove him to the arms of another woman. Back in the matter of Monique Jackson versus Herman Benjamin, first of all, let me say to both of you that just because you're angry and you're fighting, that's no reason to destroy property, even if you purchased it and even if it was a gift from someone or a, you thought that a woman gave it to him. You don't have the right to destroy another person's property, even if it is your spouse. You both need to learn anger management and how to control when you're angry. You have two children in the relationship um, that are looking at both of you. Both children were there, was watching your conduct. And as I said before, you're the examples and you're the parents and you set the tone. The other issue in terms of the $500 for your clothing and your other items and clothing and shoes you don't have any documents to prove that it was worth $500, but nor do I have any evidence to disprove that it was worth $500. You tried to belittle the fact that you cut up her robe, but it was valuable to her just as well. And why are you smiling? What's so funny about smiling, what I'm saying? Because I, I did not try and belittle the fact that, because I didn't cut up her robe. Well, you just so. get that smirk off your face. Yes, ma'am. This is no joke to me. I don't think it's a joke. Just be quiet. So the award is as follows. You're going to pay him $200, Ms. Jackson, for his clothing and other items. I'm offsetting the value of his items against the value of yours and dividing it by half. Now let that be a lesson to you, because you could have done something else with those clothing. You could have put them outside and let him come and get them. And then if he didn't come and get them, then that's all on him. But you just destroyed them out of anger. Now you have to pay for it. $200 payable by the wife to the husband. That's the order of the court. When Divorce Court returns, an update on the case of Manuel Hayden versus Tessie Hayden. He had an affair with my aunt. But now she knew how her aunt was. What did she know about her aunt? That, that she was fast. Okay. <laughs> that she liked to have sex. Closed captioning for Divorce Court, provided by. If you would like to have the judge hear your case in Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. And now for an update on a previous case in Divorce Court. Tessie Hayden says that she never was able to totally trust her husband, Manuel, after she learned that he'd had an affair with her aunt. If you mess with anybody in my family, I tell my daughters this all the time. It's not right. But now, she knew how her aunt was. What did she know about her aunt? That, that she was fast. Okay. <laughs> that she liked to have sex. But he said she was the one who broke their wedding vows when she had an affair with another woman. I did meet somebody that, that, I, that I was attracted to. Another man or another no, woman? No, it was a woman. It was a woman. Oh, it was no. a woman. It yeah. was a... They both wanted their marriage to end, and they were in court fighting for possession of some furniture that they both treasured. The curio cabinet is the only thing standing between the two of you. 
the judge said that neither one should get the furniture and awarded it to the couple's daughter. This is not hard to decide. I don't need to take a break. Award the curio cabinet to the husband for the benefit of the daughter. Manuel now plans to stay in that house with their daughter while Tessie starts life on her own. I feel that the judge's verdict was fair and I appreciate the fact that she did give me some of the value of my clothing. Well, I have a good man at home, so I don't have to worry about him anymore. I'm gonna try and be an adult about the situation and take the judge's advice at the same time and just try and handle things on a more mature level. Well, I plan to move away and just take care of my son and do what I have to do to be a good father.